Hello Taurus, welcome to Green Star Tarot. This is your December 2021 tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading for the whole of the Taurus Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out some of your placements, such as your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in getting a private reading with me, then you can find all the details, the link for private readings in the, in the description box directly below this video. And you'll find details of my Instagram and my Twitter account. So please do look at that. Thank you. Also, please don't forget to hit that like button. Absolutely subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you. Because the more people that subscribe and like, the more my video gets circulated. That's why it's very important to have those likes and subscribes from you all. Thank you. So let's jump straight into it. And the first card out for you is a Major Arcana card, the Death card. And that is Scorpio energy for you. And the next card out for you is the Justice card. Libra and energy and it's another major arcana card there for you so very strong energy is coming out for you so you could be dealing with um, a Scorpio or Libra then you have the seven of pentacles Capricorn Taurus and Virgo another major arcana card here coming out for you the moon which is Pisces energy you could be dealing with Pisces and another major arcana card the chariot could be dealing with cancer so you've got four major arcana cards out for you already so we've got the ten of wands aries leo sagittarius the page of cups pisces cancer scorpio the three of wands aries leo sagittarius And the Five of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So let's see what this is all about. So this is the death card. So this is an ending. You could be making a decision to end something. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be an ending to anything in your life that doesn't serve your greater good or your highest good. Um... I feel with the justice card coming up, this is because you want things to be fair for you. You don't feel that um, certain things have been, in your life have been very fair towards you. Um, so I feel that you're making your mind up to correct those scales, so to speak, and uh, make things fair by taking action. Maybe deciding with the seven of pentacles here to work on yourself um some of you may be having your focus in other things such as your career you may have your own business i feel that you may be focusing on that a lot of you for some of you there may be someone around you who you've who you want to end it with or you've already ended it with that doesn't want to end it with you someone that feels that they put a lot of work into the relationship and feels that they don't want to end that relationship with you but you may feel like it has to come to an end because there have been secrets that have been kept from you um secrets that may be out and exposed now but i feel that that's uh, one of the reasons this coming up under the death card that's probably the reason why you've put an end to this relationship because you found out some secrets secrets have come to light here um could also be fears you know it could be fears um regarding this relationship a fear of um getting too close to someone they could be feeling that way about you you could be feeling that way about them but i feel secrets have come to light definitely and you want to move on you know you're ready to move on i feel um 
I really feel that this is about wanting something that's fair to you, someone that treats you better, someone that treats you right. That's why you're ready to move on. It's been a very stressful experience with the Ten of, um, the ten of Wands. You're ready to drop those burdens. Um, you've overcome a lot. And I feel that you, I think in dropping those burdens, and I feel that you will lighten your load, feel less stressful. Um, yeah, definitely been a lot of stress around all of this. New love could be coming in for you, Taurus. New love. We've got the Page of Cups here. You could be getting a message from someone. You could be texting someone. Um, you may belong to a dating site or, you, you know, you could be just talking to someone new. It could be also, um, it could be talking to your ex, someone that you've already ended it with here. Someone that doesn't want to let you go. Someone that feels they've put a lot of hard work into this relationship and they're not prepared to let you go. Just like that. Someone that may be willing to fight for you. Some of you may decide to wait and see what they do. How they prove it. How they show that they're willing to work for it. You know, um, it could also be that you want to leave this behind, this relationship. Because you want to... Um, you want to create more opportunities for yourself or you want you want to be treated fairly you know um and it's about time you're, you're saying to yourself you want those ships to come in you may be facing a decision here i see with two ones here you know with three ones i think um you could you know you could have different paths in front of you You could be feeling this way or someone else could be feeling this way in the five of pentacles that's feeling that there's something very much lacking in this connection that you had with this person you may feel like they didn't have your back that they abandoned you that they weren't very supportive um that they didn't express a lot of emotion um they were very closed off emotionally um yeah, I kind of feel like you feel, it's like they may be feeling that left out in the cold and abandoned by you with this card coming up. Let's continue on. Yeah, there's a tower moment. I feel that there was a lot of instability uh, in this within this relationship. Um, things were very like you felt perhaps like you were walking on eggshells. Um, that. The slightest thing can tip the scales, basically, and I think that's what's happened here in this situation. And, you know, the tower can also indicate big changes, big drastic changes coming in your life. You've got to tear down what wasn't working, what wasn't good for you, what wasn't, you know, built on solid foundations in order to bring in something better. And... Like I said, there could be new love coming in for you. Someone may be wanting to offer this cup of love to you. With the Queen of Cups here, which is um, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio energy. Um, someone could be offering a cup of love to you. Um, it could be you considering whether to offer your cup of love to someone. Or continue offering your cup of love to this ex continuing to make the effort towards this person that you've already ended it with but i do see like i said new love is coming in for you i, I kind of really do feel i'm going to put this card over it because i kind of feel that it belongs down here on over the page of wands because i feel like this is new love that's coming in for you it could be something that's more harmonious more balanced someone that you get along with more someone that you don't feel like you clash with um yeah, I, I kind of feel that you may be considering taking a chance on someone new here, definitely, with the Lovers. And it could be a Gemini coming in for you there with the Lovers card. Yeah, lo with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Lovers definitely coming in for you. Um, and like I said, it could be a Gemini. Someone that is open emotionally, um, is not afraid to show um, affection um someone that will put in the effort and the work absolutely 
and it's the Wheel of Fortune, which is all the fixed signs. So, it's, um, and it's the change of fortune in your luck. I mean, the Wheel of the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour, um, and it's a positive change that's coming about for you straight after the tower falls something better comes in and this new love could be it um you may have just completed a karmic cycle with the wheel of fortune with this previous person that you've been dealing with um so your fortunes are definitely turning and changing where love is concerned um it could also be a, a turn uh, or a turnaround in your in your finances uh, as well because that's like a big pentacle as well so there could be a change in luck where your financial situation is concerned there's definitely growth where um finances are concerned like i said you've been putting a lot of work into either a business that you have that you may have started recently or a relationship there is definitely growth around this um it's got the potential to really take off. Um, I can see that whoever you're dealing with here is someone that's very loyal, loving, very giving, um, very caring, very affectionate, very family orientated. Um, yeah, someone very desirable. And then we had the Five of Swords. So you may feel like un unsettled in your head. You may be having some thoughts going through your head regard regarding the past person. They may be trying to make you feel gu guilty. You know, things may turn a bit unpleasant between both of you. You know, they may be trying to guilt trip you into returning to them, perhaps. Um... You're fed up with the conflict. I think you're ready to put your swords down and walk away from this. Someone may be just behaving a bit. I'd say their behaviour leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, coming near the justice card, I kind of feel like they need to look at their behaviour and how, how they're coming across, really. page of pentacles here um yeah um they want they want a, another chance with you um they've got one big pentacle in their hand um it may not be enough to save to save this or for you to give them another chance because there's a lot more on offer here with this new person i feel for some of you let's get you out some love island cards girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so i think you're gonna be going out with friends letting your hair down you're feeling happy being on your own at currently you're feeling happy being single um going out and with your friends and that's where you i think you're going to meet this new person person you were that you ended it with they may have been wearing a mask hiding their feelings um you know, not really expressing how they really felt about you. You know, that may be, may have been one of the factors why this relationship fell apart because, because they didn't express their feelings. They, they hid their feelings. Got ascending that's come out. Uh, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, so you could be preparing for union with someone new. Like I said, um, I feel that you're going to take the lessons you learned from that past relationship and some of you will be ready to move on to something new. Um, yeah, definitely ready to move on to something new, I feel. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, um, blocks, restraints, yeah. And maybe addictions affecting 
um, the past relationship. Um, maybe there's a bit of codependency, a bit of controlling behaviour going on. Someone's got a lot of passion for you though. Someone's got, there's a lot of insane chemistry. You like each other equally and you're having fun. I kind of feel that's related to someone new that's coming in for you here. A lot of passion. Butterfly. Relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. There's definitely a lot of growth within you. You're definitely moving on. Um, and this is a relationship that's got the potential to turn into something um, a lot more committed, a lot more deeper, a very deep connection coming for you, I feel. Someone that's that wants the same things as you do, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So that obviously goes up here with the past person. You're healing your heart, you're getting your freedom from something that you considered very toxic and like I said this person may have had may have had some addictions let's get out some romance angels for you Got make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so yeah I think um, this new person is going to make a lot of effort yeah, they're going to do a lot of chasing after you. They're definitely going to make an effort. They want to impress you. <laughs> they adore you, I think. <laughs> look at the way I look at how affectionate these two, these two are being to each other. Yeah, I've got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe you may have been in isolation, or you may feel like you want to. Be alone for a little while, some of you. To take stock of your life, just to recoup, gain your energy. Worth waiting for. See, I told you, someone's coming in, someone very special, and it's someone that's definitely worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, yeah, there's definitely someone special coming in for you here. Forgiving and learning. Yeah, so I think you are going to learn a lot from the past. Um, maybe the past person who wants to come back wants you to forgive them. Maybe they're learning some lessons from this experience. But I definitely feel that you have taught them some lessons, definitely. But equally, they've taught you lessons. I think you're ready to release and heal the past. There's a lot of attraction that up here actually and there's a lot of attraction between you and this new person they're definitely going to be drawn to each other without a doubt and finally you've got to stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance i have to get this one out because codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life there is a bit of with this with this past person here definitely a bit of codependency going on here i think they they feel like they really need you they could, they could have addictions for some of you. You could be dealing with someone that has addictions as well. It could be you, it could be them. Mm. You've got empathy. Let's see what comes out for you. Judgment, envy, indecision, happiness. Okay, empathy. I feel that you... I've got a lot of empathy. You can, you're very good at seeing, you know, things from different perspectives and seeing another person's point of view. Um, you've given a lot of yourself within this relationship, but the empathy, you know, it can only go so far. It's very draining on you. You've made that judgment. You're making a judgment call here. You're, you're making a decision, an important one, to separate and end that with that past relationship um got envy is someone could be very envious of the fact that you can move on that you've got it together they could be very jealous that you're getting out there and meeting someone new as well so there could be a lot of jealousy around this person they don't like seeing you happy with someone else 
um, indecision. I feel that they, this person was very indecisive when they were with you. Um, that really complicated things further. Um, I feel that um, if any of you are struggling to let go of the past person, you know, who's come, definitely coming back around, um, I have to listen to your intuition, you know, uh, that's a good guide for you, especially if you can't make up your mind. And what happiness, I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Yeah, there's happiness attached to this new situation here. I think you're also going to feel a lot happier when you're on your own. But I do feel there's a lot of happiness coming to you with this new love here that's coming out for you here. So Taurus, that was your reading. Before you go, please don't forget to hit that like button and definitely subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye.